I'm really excited about being here. Uh, I've known Coach Ferentz on and off for a number of years. Um, I've admired him from afar. Uh, I had a chance back in, I think it was 1994, to possibly come here. And uh, I ended up going uh, with a Iowa alum uh, to Wake Forest, uh, Jim Caldwell. Obviously working with Coach Davis, um, we've had a close relationship in the past, a really good working relationship. Uh, I think he knows uh, what I bring to the table. Uh, I also know that uh, he trusts me and, and he expects uh, a lot, not only out of myself, but also the wide receivers and, and that position and, uh, and production out of that position. Um, but I also uh, think that we're on the same page uh, with, with uh, not a lot of things, but many things. They're probably uh, not only wide receivers, but, but the group as a whole. They're probably a little uh, uh, embarrassed about last year. And what I've seen out of these guys thus far is that they want to fix it. I mean, to me, when I walked in this place, um, I understand that it's a football place. And, and I think any time that you go four and eight and you don't go to the bowl game, I think there is some embarrassment. They might not say it, but, but their actions in terms of, um, you know, doing extra things, working, they, they want this thing to turn around. They probably were an underappreciated group because, uh, uh, like, I watched them block last year, watched them do some other things. Uh, they did some really good things on the perimeter. Now, my job and, and, and my charge is to, is to kind of, uh, you know, take that to the next step, and, and hopefully uh, they'll become a more productive group. Uh, I'm not a guy to sit back and play favorites. Um, just because I like it. The best guys are going to play. And, and if it's a freshman, if it's a redshirt freshman, uh, those guys coming in are going to have an opportunity. Um, I, I think you'll see a change, you know. But obviously it comes down to guys going out and making plays. And, uh, you know, we always talk about, uh, you know, it's not necessarily the X's and O's, it's the Jimmy's and Joe's. You know, those guys are the ones that got to make the plays. Those guys are the ones that have to uh, execute the offense. And then it's Greg's, Greg's charge and my charge to help those guys uh, and put them in the right position to make those plays. I've been really, uh, I've been really uh, pleased with uh, Tavon and, and Jay Killier thus far. Uh, I think there's a good competition going on at X. Um, you look at Donald Shumpert and then also uh, Jordan Cotton. Um, I think those guys can really run. And, uh, and we've got to find ways to get them the ball. I'm, I'm just like the players. I always want to be green and growing, right? I don't want to be ripe and rotting, uh, and say this is the you know this is the only way we're going to do this, right? Uh, because that might not be the best way. But when you talk about pre-snap reads and, and things like that, I think you have to break it down for them. They know the play, they get the pre-snap read. Now, what do you do to react off of that? My perception uh, of Iowa football was this: uh, hard-nosed, tough run the football, throw play action pass, and play good, <laughs> stout defense. And, that, and that's what it was. You know, there's some programs you, you think of and you think of uh, flash and dash and all the, 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 the words that, that people use. And I coach Matt Roth. So when you coach Matt Roth, what you coach is exactly what uh, the impression I had Virus. So when I coached Matt, you know, that kind of impression that I had initially was, you know, then I knew that it was, it was true, you know, the impression. Because uh, Matt was a, a tough, physical player who wanted to win every drill. I mean, it wasn't just on Sundays. I mean, he wanted to win every <coughs> single drill he was in. As a matter of fact, one, one, one player said, I'm glad that we weren't 6-6 six and six and 4-8 and eight because you know, we have to do things better. We just can't almost get by. And, and uh, you know, so it's, it, it, to me, I guess when I talk to them, it just seems to be more of a focus and determination, perhaps not to let it happen again. So, you know, you, I think it started the Monday after the last game with, with maybe a little bit of an attitude adjustment in terms of the weight room. And, and then now it's just detail and technique, and as, as I mentioned before. I mean, there's a focus here that, that uh, there's, a, there's a focus here that doesn't <coughs> guarantee you success. But if you don't have the focus that we have right now, then you can't have success. All starts up front on offense and defense. And then the linebackers are the heart. They tie in the front. 
the center of it. The back end, the guys that make the dynamic plays have to have great daring and uh, great understanding. So it's all together, but looking you square in the eye. I could be wrong, Bobby might have a different view, Coach Ferris might have a different view, but in my humble view, um, it all starts up.